Good morning. Welcome to DDO Wiki Talk with your host, Technical Underscore 13, aka Shoemaker. How is everybody on this fine morning? This fine Tuesday morning. Doing a couple little quick setup things. Got my cup of coffee. I gotta turn up my CPU fan a little bit. Streaming seems to suck up a little bit more resources. Warming the old CPU up a little bit. Hall of Heroes music in the background. get our giveaway application running. Let's add in capture source video code giveaway. Something right about this. Out like that. I'm gonna move that down a little bit here. Part of our splash screen. Alrighty, here we go. So we got a 500 code giveaway. How many viewers do we want today? I haven't streamed in a little while. Set it to 10. Give it away with 10 attendees today. Should almost definitely guarantee a giveaway. So it looks like we're at episode 62. our DDO wiki talk. Let's take a look at our recent changes.
Alright, let's see here. What's happened in the last... Oh, I don't remember when the last time I did a DDO Wiki Talk was. I didn't have one last week. Because of a doctor's appointment. I didn't have one the week before because of April vacation for my daughter. So, April 11th? Three weeks ago? It looks like we have like 21 days worth of recent changes. Let's look at at least 14 of them. <clears throat> a lot has happened. Uh, let's look at the last 20 days. That should cover three weeks. Up to 5,000 changes worth, worth anyway. Let's scroll right down to the bottom here. April 11th, there we go. Some core changes, look like crew made a few changes to template named Shield. In order to bring up some consistency stuff. Probably because of a discussion that started on the Sky Vault Shield level 25 page. <coughs> Looks like a random IP user made some changes to the Vault of the Artificers upgrade template. That people seem to be having difficulties with. Good morning, Backlagor. Drinking coffee, getting ready for work. Awesome. Some stuff on my talk page about solo only raids. Template named item, consistency stuff for damage versus DMG. Seahound made some changes on his user page. Anything interesting? Let's see here. Some talk on the Warlock page. Some minor upgrading, updating of pages here and there. And in some cases, over the 500 byte my mark, so kind of major. Seahound's doing some minor stuff. UL updating our DDO store sales and bonus day pages. Seems to be keeping right up on that. JJ blocks a spammer. Yoko updates his personal notes a little bit. I would like to see what he changed there. Another spammer blocked by Crew 121. I blocked Pappin 123. Let's see a free to play DDO point walkthrough. Got a minor change, probably a typo. Stuff got cleaned out in the deletion log. Uh, Melly Cats is starting a new newbie guide section on the wiki. and asked me if I could copy over some of the stuff for her to work on, or him to work on. Turbine Punk Code was a double redirect being fixed. Let's see here. Oh yeah, box here. That's not the one I want, I want this one. Good morning, Darius. Bak -la gore Moderator add. Darius 1680. There we go, we have two attendees now. Grenadel started working on updating some of our monsters. Update 36 release notes, I believe it's Lamania notes or pre release notes. A large crafter's bag got a note about the crafting satchel. Litany of the Dead, fix a typo, talk page stuff, 
Crew 121. I updated his edit count. What else do we got? Colvier is using a sandbox. That's good. Template crew lore. Not sure what that is. So, April 24th. April 24th, LSD37 created a, a dashboard page. A lot of poking here and there, minor edits mostly. Very common on a wiki for lots of minor edits. Did some moving around. <coughs> some modifications to common.css to make it so that there is a user show class now that makes it so that anything that has that user class show is hidden and then in user group user.css it makes it so that users can see it what that does is it hides things to everybody and then if you're a user you could see it again I had the first time that I ever had to block somebody for disruptive editing, edit warring, creating, taking a, a situation that was being resolved and adding additional conflict to it. Discussion on the notice board that got canceled, got closed pretty quickly. Tower of Frost needs to be added to the free-to-play list. Okay, we'll see what we can do about that today. Protection log. Some pages got protected and unprotected. Some hard feelings and poor communications. Um, template talk dashboard. There's a whole bunch of discussion there about the dashboard, which was something that came up. More spam stuff. Build level UL vector CSS. Hmm, I should look at that. Pretty sure it's not related. It's not related, okay. Bonus days and store sales by UL. User talk. I'm not sure what that was all about. Oh, that was about the dashboard thing. Asking about why there was so much conflict there. On April 28th, I actually had some time to um, work on the, the dashboard issue. So I moved all of the pieces of it to its own sub-template of template dashboard. And spent a total of about four hours from 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. ish. Um, well, 7:41 until I don't see that there. Good morning, new viewers. I spent a good three, four hours working on it that morning. Created some test cases. Test case one, test case two, test case three, test case zero. Um, I had a post on the blocked user's user page. They were blocked in order to make it. correct um a couple people got promoted to ddo wiki vip
Ugh, some sneezes this morning. I see that Titan, good morning. I should add people to the um, giveaway. Only need 10 this morning. Todd Shy W and Titan. Save. Seasonal allergies. Springtime hell. That's what we call it. Springtime hell. Well, I haven't been on in three weeks, so I figured 10 was a, a better number for this week. A whole bunch of old pages with, got deleted um, because they were missing slashes. Not a big deal. I relocated them and made updates as is appropriate. Um, I made some changes to the edit notice system on the wiki. The edit notice system is simply a subpage of a user or user talk space page. Um, in this case, where you can put something in there. And when people edit the page, they will see that text for instructions or whatever. I can show you how it works. I'm sure we'll see that in just a moment, Titan. Um, I made some changes to the button template that will allow you to add a little text on mouse over so that if you create a fake button and you mouse over it, it'll say um, this button is for demonstration purposes. It won't actually fire an event. However, if you add a couple certain parameters, you can make it do an event and you can change the text to say whatever the event is. So that's pretty cool. Here's the edit notice that I created. We'll get into that shortly. Um, updated the title blacklist so that only edit auto confirm users can edit edit notices in user space. There are other ones that they can't, but that was for that. Um, I put up a little bit of a. I put up a POI on LSD's user talk page for this dashboard because I've been working on developing that further. What else do we have here? MW title list. JJ made a huge update importing from another wiki and I had to make some changes to fix that. Uh, they weren't all exactly as we would want them. Oh yeah, I should plug in my headset, or it'll die on me, because it wasn't plugged in last night. Um, Cordovan hasn't even had a chance to look at them, the applications yet, as far as I know. But it is on the list of things to do this week. I'm sure that once we know, we'll know. I'm actually not going to announce if I make the Players' Council until it's been publicly announced by Cordovan who, who is on the list and who isn't. So, you'll just have to wait and see. I am in Discord chat if you want to pop in. That's what the little thing down in the corner is over here when I talk. Um, I am in, for those interested in joining, I am in the DDO stream guild in the live stream uh, voice channel. So, if you wish to join, it's simply... Go there and pop on in and visit me. You made a wizard bard build, that's cool. So after all of the chaos and disruption based on this dashboard thing, which I wasn't opposed to, it just had to be in the right place in the right way. Seasonal allergies are horrible. We'll bring that up, DDO dashboard. Uh, 
Um, rain became unblocked because that was the end of the dashboard debacle. Um, I, I, I'm the kind of person that believes that any and all blocks should be preventive instead of punitive, and since the baseline situation was resolved, um, I didn't believe that there was a reason for her to be blocked anymore, so I unblocked her. Um, she probably could have gotten unblocked sooner if she had just come and talked to me and had a little bit of a discussion, but whatever. Um, is what it is. Um, evoker nuker. Okay. Made some changes to the blocked and unblocked templates. And here we are. So, let me go to talk page. So let's start here. I wanted to see what this was. Current server time is MW server time. Oh eight twelve. Yeah, that's probably about right. <clears throat> but why did he use MW server time? What's on MW server time? Something that I'm un unaware of. Uh, view source. I'm L H I. It's not exactly how it works. History. Okay. All right. So we'll get to that in a moment. So on my talk page, if you were to add a new section, you'll see this big pinkish purple box up here and these little boxes here um, those are created by a page called user talk technical underscore 13 and you can see it's it's actually on its own page and it's just a table regular table collapsible, you know, header. Oh, this will get rid of the things on the bottom. Which I, I, I may add some more to at some point. I can't discuss that, Titan. Um, wouldn't be appropriate. Um, Um, anybody can add a slash edit notice page to get something to show up when people are edit editing their page. Basically, the format for it is whatever page that you want to have an edit notice on. So say I wanted to have an edit notice on, let's see here. This will make so you can start a new discussion on the bottom of the page. Um, let's say I wanted to go to... Should actually edit that and make it work a little bit better but uh, let me do that while I'm waiting for that to spin those showing up where they're supposed to 1px solid Thank <laughs> you. 
Why aren't they centering in the middle? Strange, I don't know why they're not centering. So, what was I talking about? Oh, I lost my mind. It wasn't attached. So, let's say I was going to my character page and I was editing. Well, Swamp Bat isn't on Canis anymore. Um, let's say I went to edit Swamp Bat and he wanted to write me. On one of my, say I wanted to have a special thing on my character pages where I didn't want people to mess with them too much. I could have it so that when you hit edit here, at the top of the page, it would have some kind of notice. So in order for me to do that, actually I'm not sure how that would work. I should look into that some more. But on my characters page, for example, I could have a little thing where if you hit edit, it will, you know, put something up here at the top of the page. So I could go like this. Copy, case, slash, edit notice. And yes, I do believe it is case sensitive with a capital E. And I could do simple little this pages where technical 13 keeps track of all his characters in the various areas please ask on his talk page for making changes here and you know you can actually make this a, a full user so that it will show links to the talk page and we hit save right now when we go back over here oop, oop. okay so that's right 
Now if we go back over here and we refresh the page. Hit read, because it's not loading it in. Hit edit. Why isn't it showing? Did I put a typo in there? Section 13 characters, edit notice. This is supposed to work. Maybe it's only working in user talk space. Move it to talk. There it is. So it does work on, on talk pages. It just doesn't work on regular user pages. I'll have to fix that. It's intended to work on both. So, but you can see that user talk, technical 13 characters I just notice, now shows up on user talk characters in edit mode. However, you don't see it in regular view mode. So that's something you can add to your user talk pages. Still need to figure out why it's not working right. Anyways, DDO dashboard. Um, now a disambiguation page. Because we have a couple places on wiki. Now we have a template, which is where it should have been created to begin with. Not a big deal. We have LSD's version. We have Noble's version. We have Rain's version. Um, these two are off wiki. And then there was a whole huge drama on the forums that we have a link to as well. Here's the template. Um, logged in users see this documentation bar at the top that you can expand and see instructions for use. It's simply dashboard options where the options are the following and can appear in the template in any order that suits your needs. So Q for questing, um, E for enhancements, um, ED-W for the wide version of Epic Destinies. Um, you can hide this little collapse section with dashboard high remove on your common.js page. And here's some examples. So for the full navigational template, the wide version, the way that LSD intended it, it's simply copy and paste this little bit of text. Um, dashboard Q, C wide, E, E, W wide, F wide, I, L. Um, and that will bring it up. This is the narrow version by default in order for it to fit on the screen of more people. Um, this has gone through multiple revisions in the sandbox, which is currently a duplicate of what's here. However, we do have some test cases pages. Shrink that right back up. If you put in the dashboard hide dot remove in your JS, this little red bar will go away. It will literally make this much difference. Um, So, make of that what you will. Here's our test cases. Here's the default display with no parameters, the same as what is seen on dashboard itself. Okay. Here's test case one. Um, new first life friendly player. So, show only class enhancements and feats. 
So only classes, enhancements, and feats. Collapsed versions are shown. Not difficult to see that you can now select which sections you want to see. Um, this is the full widescreen version, which on this particular screen is a widescreen, so it works fine. However, when I view it on my other screen, it, it, some of the sections get um, collapsed and cause vertical scrolling. Um, for example, on the screen that I usually view DDO Wiki on, Let me add a source so you can see what it looks like. The reason that I was so intent on creating a narrow and wide version. Let's take this right here and blow it up here just for the sake of demonstration. Let's put this back over here. Stretch it out. Okay, so you should be able to see what I'm seeing here. I, I can't see the bottom of the screen, so I'm not sure. You can see that Classes overruns the end, Epic Destinies overruns the end, um, and Feats overruns on the edge, causes a, a scroll bar here. And that just looks bad, so... Shrinking it back down for a second. Um, okay, so I can do it like this, and you can still see still see the scroll bar that I have to deal with. Oh. That was why that was an issue. Um, bring the chat back up. Okay. So. That's the wide version of the, t of the, of the dashboard. Um. I then did a test case that shows that you can reverse the order of the sections. So we have external links, then named items, then feats, then epic destinies, enhancements, classes. Um, questing section never made it into this dashboard, but we can add that in. I'll take a second. See, so in order to add questing, it's simply pipe Q. Add questing section to bottom. And now we hit save. And we scroll down, and the questing section is on the bottom. Here's test case four, which is a new version that I was working on that allows you to add sections in a collapse form. So, collapse classes, epic destinies. So, for example, you wanted to have the full board like LSD has it. And you don't usually run up into epic sections, collapse the epic section. Um, you don't usually bother with the named links that external links that much, collapse it. Um, have some collapse and some not collapsed. Now, I'm not particularly impressed with the pink color. I'm very likely going to change that to something more appropriate for this type of template. Um, probably a bluish color. Um, I'm also going to change the color on the links and the font size, and I'll probably realign it back over here to the left. Um, I just haven't gotten around to those pieces yet. I wanted to make it functional. I didn't really care too much about um, appearance until it was fully functional. Um, what, apparently we're missing the questing section that he created as well. So let's do quest that collapsed. Add collapsed questing section to see if that's going to work. I actually haven't tested that. I don't know. It should work. There it is. Questing collapsed. Excellent. Um, got a big white space up there, but there isn't much I can do about that at this time. I can probably remove it later, though. I'll have to do a little bit of playing around with that in the sandbox to make that work. But... That's a future option. Um, here is LSD's version of the dashboard. Okay. 
there was a lot of discussion on the talk page. We can take a look at that too, I suppose. Ah, I told, I, I explained to him that I was making the collapse section. He said he's very nice. So he considers the template finished. That was a key statement made by him in order for something else to be taken care of on Wiki. Here is um, an off wiki version of it um, that somebody made. The only issue that I have is that it doesn't give full attribution to DDO Wiki. Um, it's missing a little bit of attribution, so that should probably be worked on. Um, this is also missing some attribution. Um, this is Rain's version of it. With missing headers and whatnot. Um, missing questing section. And then there was the whole forum thread about it. Looks like there were eight pages, 159 total comments. If you want to find out what happened, feel free to check that out. His whole purpose was to make it so that it was a template, so you could configure it to hide sections you don't care about and choose between wide and narrow displays. Link directly to the template itself. And then there's that. Um, if no side sections is something that people care about, I can actually make it on Wiki so that it will. So that lo at least logged in users will be able to hide this. Um, I can add a button to the, t the dashboard itself that will hide the side. Um, I can also have it hide anything on the top as well. So people just need to let me know if that's something that they want and I will create a gadget, a dashboard gadget that will do that for people. Um, but nobody has indicated that that's something that they desire yet, so... If a gadget to make it easier to see what the dashboard looks like is something that's desired, let me know. And we will work on making a gadget. Oopsie. I forgot to do this first. Somebody mentioned me, what was it? Okay. Alrighty. So, I think that rounds out the discussion of the dashboard. If there's any questions about it, please get in touch with me. I'm happy to try and make any accommodations that people ask for. Um, as long as it's within my ability to do so. Um, I'm still bound by certain rules and de facto rules and written rules and status quos that happen on the wiki um i understand that a lot of people might not under might not know what those are or be able to even find them a lot of it is de facto status quo this is how things are done and until we have a discussion about it we can't really just willy-nilly change things there would have to be an in-depth discussion and they they take a while so for example, if we were to go to my user page, there are four 
points of interest on my user page. Um, the oldest one is from August 10th, 2015. So that one is almost two years old, that discussion. Um, there's one from, there's one that's over a year old about holiday announcement color scheme, simply changing colors in the Happy Easter, Happy New Year template that shows up on the homepage for holidays. Um, over a year discuss, discussion on that because we have so few editors that discussion gets stalled and it can't move forward until there's either enough discussion or it's long enough that everybody just says there was no consensus to do this, let's kill it. Um, we like to give at least a year for that kind of thing, for no consensus. Um, it's just lack of discussion. Um, if there was a bunch of people that were discussing it and a clear consensus could be formed in a month, great. Um, however, it's when it's not clear, when it's you know in the 30 to 70 range that you know, 40% of the people say this, 60% of the people say that. Well, that's not really enough for a consensus. We like to have at least a three quarter, 75%. So it's really difficult on that. That's why a lot of things don't get changed on Wiki. Got another sneeze coming on. Ugh, not gonna die. Okay, so which formula should be used to calculate XP per kill? Another stall discussion. That one is a little bit under a year old. And then new DPL query template um, is only a couple months old. Or, or just over a month. So yeah. Um, you also note that my personal user page I have protected with full protection. Um, however, people can still edit set things on the pages because of the way that I did it. I did it as a sub page that people could edit. So you can edit my edit count. You can edit, um, uh, let's see here, edit count, bot edit count, first edit, although that should probably never have to be changed. I should actually just embed that. Um, and you can also update the latest version of where to find the character planner, which I need to do because RJ Cyberware no longer exists. Um, so yeah, go to the DDO dashboard if you want to read that thread. So let's see here, github.com. Um, Search GitHub DDO character planner uh, wiki right there. Six releases. There we go. Latest release, copy link address, I need to go find this. Okay. And I can't edit it on this page. What I'll need to do is um, I'll need to open up a new tab here
and shrink this for a minute. Let's grab this, chop that out. Update it with this. Save page there. Excellent. Throw that in there. reminds me and yes I do remember that somebody wanted to do uh, Darius wanted to do Tower Frost so we'll get to that in just a minute actually got like an hour left so we got plenty of time here um, I want to search for let's do latest diff I want to search for rjcyberware.com on DDO wiki So, it is now almost 9 a.m. Coffee is working appropriately. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute myself for a few minutes, and we're going to take a, a bio break for five minutes or so. Feel free to get yourself a fresh cup of coffee, and um, we will be back shortly.
No worries, folks. Coffee cup. I muted the microphone for the bio portion of the, uh... Now on the coffee refilling portion. Just another minute. down this splash screen here. Alrighty, we're back. Four of ten. So I'm wondering <coughs> if it's worth it for me to go it's did it find thirteen? Outdated, it's already been fixed, so there's 12. Um, time to go through update the other 12 pages what I'm wondering is if it's worth isn't even a link to the character. Best list. That's gonna be a dead link. Shield, are you there? I am Titan. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm good. Very quiet this morning. Turn you up yeah. or is that on your end? I don't know. I can't hear on your end, so. Right, per sec is usually up to up to 120. How's this? Oh, helped. <laughs> How are you, young sir? Good. Um, I'm about to do... I'm about to learn about HTML. About to learn about HTML. Um... Mom's gonna give me, uh project to do so 
I have to get certification too. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna do an online course that will get me uh, certified. Hmm. Can I move a page? Probably not. Okay. So I'll have to move it on the other account. My mom actually wrote a real uh, Android application for like a calculator. Cool. Financial calculator, yeah. That's weird. Should move that now before I update the rest of those. Did you stop? Did you stop streaming? Nope. Okay, so my whole Twitch tab, but nothing else, has stopped responding for some reason. That's weird. Twitch does that. Just have to refresh. Twitch is twitchy like that. Haven't seen much of you on in game much lately or on Slack or whatnot. That's I transferred a couple characters to um, Sarlona for uh, my Reaper ready friends. Sarlona? Why would you want to go to Sarlona? <laughs> supposed to come to Canis. What's up with that? Well, I will shoot. <laughs> Messing with you, Titan. All right, let's see here. I don't think Queen plays anymore, or um, whatever Nux. she wants to be called. Nux, yeah. She tries. Not going to be that anymore. It's going to be.
Do, 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 do. Still need some more people to join us. Not my blink for that anymore either. I don't know where that character planner version variable comes from, but whatever. Oh, I don't even know if the forums exist anymore. I'm gonna comment them out because I don't think they exist anymore. I think the whole thing is gone. That'll update that one. Good. That there, there's the releases for the character planner. Um, when there's a new release, I will be sure to update on Wiki. Hmm, I wonder if there's some way I can automate that. I'll have to dig into that. Edit, 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 glossary, oh, what was that going to be under C for character planner? These are supposed to be in alphabetical order within each section, but aren't always. No, let's try P for planner. Runs. All right, let's do a double control F. Build. Ah, B for build. Okay. Let's edit B. Character planner. Edit. Ah, so this one is. And that one just goes to releases. Okay.
There's actually a V5 as well. Normally, um, ABBR, formerly known as Ron's character planner. I got formerly known as backwards. I think I'd remember that. Actually, let me do this. Star, 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 star. character planner I believe there's discussion about version 5 on the forums as well I just don't know where to find it build in here twice. Am I in the Hall of Heroes again? Yes, probably. Uh, 
Oh, I should get him to host that on um, GitHub instead of the way that he's got it set up. Or ask him if he would be willing to do that. Because right now it's very difficult to maintain. I'll have to get in touch with him about that. Uh, let's see here. Let's head over here. Recent changes. Like this. What do I got here? I got. Character planner. Not a specific version. why it does that sometimes. Okay, so that's just going to be marked as a dead link. Save page. Um, I believe Ravenloft is planned for the expansion update 37, I believe. That was what was said. Half an hour left of the stream. We're still down six people on giving away 500 Lotro points, or DDO points. Oh, I can't believe I said Lotro points on DDO stream. Well, you know, maybe I'll give away both if we get enough people.
see. All right, so that one's updated, that one's updated, that one's updated, that one's updated, that one's updated. Glossary. I'm gonna dump the version on it. And what do we got here? We got that going on, okay. Oh man, that's funny. Um, what's what's funny? Zenpai in the uh, community Discord over there um, was talking to Steel about how um, the beholder gaze, the beholder gaze would uh, now remove shit buffs. Oh yeah. And then Steel said, "Don't tempt me." <laughs> Like, he would do it, but he's not gonna. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think um, the Beholder Gaze should be something that stacks, and if it hits you three times, then it should remove ship buffs. Sounds like a good plan to me. You would agree to that, Shu. <laughs> Or, or even this, after three stacks it removes things like bard songs that didn't used to get removed, and after five stacks it removes ship buffs. I could go with that. That works for me. Or at least in Reaper mode. When they restart servers, is there any way to keep the elemental resistance shrines for, from disappearing? Unfortunately, no, there is not. However, they should respawn within an hour, so... Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Actually, the one on Glossary shouldn't link directly to the Character Planner, but should instead link to the Character Planner page. So can I open that back up and head there and fix that? <coughs> the edit. The rest of the cargo bay repopulates, but not the shrine. So does it take longer than an hour for the shrines to, to repopulate? Because if so, that's certainly something we can bring up to Cordovan and see if it's something that's known or, or whatever.
Next day, still no shrines. Did they expire? That's a good question. They had weeks left on them. I will um, bring it up to Cordovan. Um, have you put in a bug bug report? I don't know if you if you've seen the new bug reporting system, but it's actually really much better than what was there. I mean, there are some things that I'd like to see better. I'd like the, the ability to auto populate some sections for people that are logged in but it's much better than what was there a lot of things on this page that need to be fixed but ah so I, I certainly re recommend doing so so to do that you go to help dot standing stone games dot com slash hc slash n us slash requests slash new if you're just typing out the full url like that um typing out this full url for a bug report will skip the other stuff that you know the common have you tried this have you tried that type things um and then you simply select on whatever the issue is like i would re like to report a bug it will re reload with a ticket form id number um there's like uh, one two three four five six seven eight there are eight things the support can help you with but only six of them have different form IDs because some of them are the same they just worded differently um, and then you fill in the form um, your email address uh, the subject a description language platform all this stuff um, look that you're not a robot and hit submit um, if submitting bugs is something that you'll be doing semi-frequently, I suggest creating an account. Sign in. Um, if you don't have one, sign up. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, it goes by your email instead of your username. Or join the player's council. Uh, you'd still have to do this. Um, even, even on the player's council, they prefer that you put in bug reports so they can go through their QA team. And then their QA team can try to refine the steps to reproduce and figure out what's going on exactly. Um, um, hmm, what did I use for a password? This might take me a few tries. There we go. So you create an account and then put in your bug report. You'll see, well, you can't see it because it's hidden behind that. Let me take that away for a second. If I could find it, event list right there. So give me the rid of the, so you can see that I'm logged in, Legend of the Red Dragon. You can now go and you can check on your tickets. You can see I have a few bug reports in um, for both DDO and Lotro. As far as two months back when they set up the system um, you'll see which ones are opened those are ones that QA hasn't looked at yet if it says solved it does not mean that the bug is fixed in game it simply means that um, QA has re re has reviewed the re 
the report and either marked it as unreplicatable or sent it to the development team to fix. Um, so just because it says solved does not mean that it's fixed in game. It just means that QA has either reproduced it or been unable to reproduce it and sent it to developers or closed it as won't fix because they can't reproduce it. Um, Hello, 4chan. I'll, I'll bring it up to Cordovan and see if it's something that's a known issue. Um, I actually got three new ones that are in the solved category that I want to take a look at. See if there was any notes that they left with those. I'll have to do that later. Um... So that now goes to build planner. That I I should have I should have showed preview. My fault. Uh, recent changes. Character planner has a lowercase p. Things are case sensitive on the wiki. Lowercase p. Character planner. Show preview, and that should fix it, right? Yep. Excellent. Let's add four Chan raid is Bach. Yeah, we're fifty percent with twenty minutes to go. Alrighty. Recent changes. Excellent. Those are all updated. Uh, now, let's go to Tower of Frost before I forget about that. What were we updating here? Free to play. So free to play is true. Um, so what you're talking about is it's not showing up in one of the quest lists. Like perhaps free to play quests. What you're saying is it's not showing up in this list here. But it is, it's way down here at the bottom. This isn't in alphabetical order, this is just populated. Or, actually, it is in alphabetical order. So you have to look down in there, instead of by level. Quest by favor, free to play. Ah, quest by favor. So... That page is actually going to be deleted, as it's no longer... It's, it's a duplication of other 
pages on the wiki. Um, got twenty eight F. West West It's not in there because it's not that particular table is a hard-coded table. It's not dynamic yet. Um, it's in the list of things to do. However, it's probably going to go away and be replaced with something else. Um, I mean, I guess we can have it add it, but it's kind of a a, a futility thing. Because see, if I add it, this will be completely thrown out out of out of so sync. Um, This entire page is irrelevant information at this point. It does have 51,000 views. How many people are watching this page? 36 distinct authors. Latest editor being Slug. Tell me how many people are watching it though. Is another quest by favorite page? Um, category quests. Category quests. Free to play quests. So if you take free to play quests, for example, you click on total favor. It will sort it by favor for you. You can click on it again. So Legendary Hound Azoria gives you 36. Right up through. And this is automatically populated. This page never has to be updated. It's probably fully protected. It's actually not protected at all. Um, it should probably be fully protected. But as you can see, you saw the other page where there was all kinds of um, code in there. This one just pulls in Guide to Free-to-Play, which if you edit that, then see all this code here, but when we get to the table, where's the table? Quest list. Okay, so the table, the entire table for this is populated by this little section. Free-to-Play quest, don't include history, pages don't include challenges by name um, temporary need to figure out have it list them using either template quest or template challenge uh, free to play phantom so it creates the entire table dynamically based on the quest pages themselves all of those types of table layouts should do that Get the same table here it'll give you the, the favor you can sort it by favor you can sort it by xp sort it by patron you can sort it by where it's acquired sort it by level sort it by quest name
So one of my major projects has been revamping the quest template. I've just been sidetracked by a bunch of other things, so it's going to be a while before I get back to it. Uh, the idea is I want to put as much information in the quest pages themselves, kind of like what I did with the monster pages, where all of the information for the monster, no matter where it's located, is in the monster page, and then the quest page pulls the information from the monster page. Um, I'm working on doing the same thing with named items. All of the named item information is on the item page. Um, and that way different pages can pull information from the items. Um, quest pages are going to pull information from items. It's going to pull information from monsters. And then it's it, it, it itself can be pulled from um, list of quests. List of raids, quest in this area, um, quest by it ad pack, all of that kind of stuff. I actually don't care about this. It can be marked for deletion. I should probably um, clean up those sometime. Alright, any other requests today?
pretty sure I'm 2561. Yep. We actually also have a um, hashtag hashtag DDO and a hashtag hashtag DDO wiki channel on Freenode. Um, I don't monitor those as much. I don't have them on my mobile, so if I'm not home, I won't see it. Um, but Elliot Cable and JJ lurk in there quite often as well. And then on Sorcery Net, we have hashtag DDO, that untitled Scott uh, CSI Stormreach. Um, runs and maintains. There's actually dedicated servers for each in-game server, and there's also a hashtag DDO wiki um, that I also don't monitor frequently. However, you can pop in there and find me sometimes. And then you can also follow my own Twitch channel. Um, yeah, I never did hosting this morning. Whatever. There's only six minutes left, so. So I got like five minutes left. There has been some requests by users to make it so that they can hide this home section, which is something I plan on working on accommodating them for. Um, I want all anonymous users and users by default to see it. However, I want to make it hideable. Um, I also want to be able to make it so that the what's new section can be hidden. Um, I'll probably turn it into a table in here with a little collapse button here so you can at least collapse it. Um, I'll give it a specific ID so that you can add to your CSS, custom CSS, to have it collapse by default. Um, which would make it so that you'd go straight to the site map oh, section. Oh, that pain not funny! Hey, K Lone Wolf, thank you for the follow on my personal channel. Oh, that reminds me. Um, where is it? Turn the event list back on for DDO stream here. Uh, let's see here. So it'll, you'd be able to completely hide the Welcome to DDO Wiki section if you're a user, and you'd be able to collapse the What's New section if you're a user, um, bringing you mostly directly to the sitemap. Um, lots of links there. Lots of good stuff here. Um, about DDO Wiki section. Um, I should probably update some of these sections. Somebody is currently working on cleaning up and expanding the newbie guide, and I'd like to give special thanks to Belly Cat, I, I guess that's how she, they, they pronounce it, um, for working on that project. Um, there's always stuff to work on, though. If you're interested in helping with that, please coordinate with them. Um, I would love to see more coordination and working on stuff like that. Um, I do need to update this probably. These two people are pretty much inactive. Um, uh, 
up and running since January 4th, 2006. For well over 11 years now. Probably need to update the page counts. They're not dynamic because of caching concerns by um, Zevo. Um, Once I am done with all the named item and quest pages and monster pages and things like that, changes that I'm working on making, I intend to change this box to um, be a title up at the top as a wiki missing useful information and then having the ability to create a new article, add an item, add a quest page, add a monster, um, and a few different things so that you click on those and it will automatically take you to pages for um, template layouts for those so that you can start right from the back bat editing them um, I just need to work on all the back-end stuff and there's probably another year's worth of back-end stuff before that'll be ready but um, it's something that I am looking forward to making it so that you can just click create an item fill in a few things give it a name and upload a screenshot and Add in the statistics for it really quickly with um, quick selection templates and whatnot. Um, what I have planned will, will be really slick. This person's been adding a lot of things to Constitution and Wisdom. Um, I'm hoping to go through at some point and reformat and clean it up a little bit. Um, but. We're making progress, and it is now 10 a.m. And unfortunately, we only hit 5 out of 10. We only hit 50% mark on our DDO code giveaway. Um, next week will be May 9th. I don't know if I have anything planned for May 9th yet. So currently I'm planning on being here on May 9th. Um, hopefully we'll be able to make some progress on that stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing you next week. I save this again before I close it out. Um, close that out. And that concludes this episode of DDO Wiki Talk. Um, I should be back next week. Um, I'm hoping to also be able to do Minion Monday next Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, tune in for that. Tune in for DDO Wiki Talk. Um, have a great week, everybody. Uh, nothing, just looking at old stuff on YouTube.